Gibson Les Paul Traditional Pro from 2012 and Rolly is here with another long review video. <laughs> Guys, this is 31st of December, last day of this strange, strange motherfucker year and we survived 2020. <laughs> we survived 2020 together. <laughs> Let's celebrate this with this car. Yeah man, I mean, I've been celebrating it for a for a few hours now <laughs> and uh, I thought let's record some great great videos let's finish the year with some long review and unboxing and things like that video recordings <laughs> so let's start with this guitar Gibson Les Paul traditional pro well not much traditional on this guitar in this guitar there are not many traditional things <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the shape, I don't know. I don't know why the hell did they call it traditional when this is not a traditional Gibson at all. But it has some great features, and I tell you what, I tell you what, it has some fantastic pickups. The pickups are so articulate. That was the first thing, the first thing what I noticed when I started playing on it. Uh, very, very articulate pickups, and I like them. The classic fifty-seven. What they have on the, uh, what we have here on the neck position, ultra, ultra warm. I mean, probably, I think, probably the, the warmest uh, neck pickup from the Gibson range. It has so, it, it's, some people might uh, feel it's a bit pokey or it has too much bass, but I love it. I love it. I love when it, when it's around and warm and jazzy and mellow and I think, Classic 57 is the perfect example of uh, bass heavy neck pickup. Yes, interesting, yeah, but you can always turn it on on the amplifier and it just makes everything sounds a bit extra warm and jazzy. So yeah, I like the Classic 57 and they have a Burst Bucker 3 or whatever that they call it on the bridge. While this one is warm, this is this has the bite. It's it's it's. It's very bite. You could hear it in the intro, I think. Very articulate, so you can hear all the notes and the, the note separation, and very, very articulate. Other interesting feature, other interesting feature on this guitar is the push pull. They got a push pull here and the push pull pot there, so you can you can make the it's, it's, it does a kind of coil split and. And surprisingly, the coil split is usable. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of them. I've never been a big fan of uh, coil splits on Les Paul guitar because of the, the whole 
whole construction, the scale length and everything is completely different than a strut. So it's never going to sound like a strut or a tele because everything else apart from the pickup uh, winding is different. So the scale length and, and the construction and the build and everything. So it's never going to sound like a tele or a strut, but it's very usable. It sounds like a, like a P90 or something. Yeah. So quite usable. I'm going to sh I'm going to play an example. I've been practicing that example for a while, and I've it put a smile on my face, and that that is a good thing. So yes, other pro feature. That's maybe this is why they call it traditional pro. Other pro p feature is the tuners. I mean, great, great locking tuners. I think these are the best Grover tuners what you can buy for the money. Beautifully well well built uh, mini grower locking tuners, fantastic! It makes strings um, string replacing just just a dream. It's it's so fast. You just unlock it, put the new strong, no winding, no anything. Just put it on, uh, lock the machine head, and then you can just tune it up, and that's it. So when when you, when you have a string breakage on stage. In the middle of the gig this is a dream come true because it's so easy so fast to change string on this guitar that's a pro feature yeah so push pulls and uh, interesting pickups and uh, look at this beautiful finish here so it's not as shiny as all other gibsons so i think it's half satin half finished so it's it's, it's an interesting the neck as well so it has this, I like it when they don't put that very st sticky paint on the back, so it gives this very, very warm, friendly feeling already. So yeah, that's, that's definitely the thing I like, and it looks beautiful as well. Check it out, guys, check it out. Yeah, so nice rosewood fretboard, there's nothing wrong with it, so it's not the darkest one what I ever had, but it's not the lightest one either, so... Yes, kind of kind of in the middle. Weight wise, hmm, definitely not below nine and uh, not above nine and a half. So around nine, nine one, nine two. Uh, it's all right. That's what you usually get anytime if you buy a traditional or a standard. That's what you get nowadays because those are not weight relieved guitars. So yeah, it's not the heaviest, not the lightest, somewhere in the middle. So this has the 60s, like what I'm not a big fan of. I really like the 50s one because I like big chunky necks. But that's obvious. Obviously, that's just a personal thing. I, if if you if you if you like uh, smaller, thinner necks, that then this is this is your ones, I think. But let's let's go and and try something on the neck pickup because it's beautiful and warm and jazzy. Let's play something interesting on it. <laughs>
guys please let me know how do you like this pickup it sounded great it sounded sounded warm and jazzy for my ears but let me know how do you hear it please i'm very curious and i always reply on all the comments and things like that so yes please let me know how do you like this pickup well uh, other thing with this guitar you know it's it's a fantastic value for the money it's it's not that expensive and for a bit more than the, than a grand, so around fourteen hundred pounds or dollars, you can buy a, a very good Les Paul. So this is this is highly recommended. It's, it's it's a great value for the money. I think it has the beautiful uh, plain top, what I always dig. Uh, I really like the fifty eight Les Pauls as well. I really like plain tops. So yeah, beautiful tobacco tobacco sunburst like Joe Perry's and Slash and. Yes, or I think someone someone commented before the Joe Perry and the Slash uh, 59 Les Paul is the same guitar. Uh, I didn't know that story, but hey, so this is wonderful. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Nothing wrong with this neck pickup. Let's let's play let's play something in the uh, middle pickup position where you can hear both of the pickups together. I think they are going to sound nice. <laughs> This was the middle position with uh, both pickups together. Quite interesting combination of a very bitey, powerful Burst Bucker 3 and a very warm, jazzy sounding Classic 57. Great guitar. I, I, I'm enjoying myself very much so I can play on this guitar all day and night. Yes, nothing wrong, nothing wrong with it. A good guitar for not much money. So, guys, I can highly recommend this one for you. Uh, it's also very clean, so this you can check this guitar on my website rollisguitars.co.uk. There are not many. There actually there's no serious dings on dents or. Uh, yeah, here you got a very very small amount of play marks. <sighs> Nothing serious. You can see it on my website, I think. Yes, check this beautiful guitar out. Uh, Yes, it's 9 years old or 10 years old now and for 10 years old guitar this is in ultra clean condition. Frets are actually zero fretware, there is no fretware on this guitar. It hasn't been, I'm 100% sure it hasn't been played properly so whoever takes this home needs to play a lot on it because it's a great guitar and I like the color, I like the, like the pickup so yes let's play on it. So one more example. Uh, let me let me show you the let me show you the coil tab sound. It's 
fucking interesting in its proper funky sound. Have a listen, have a listen. <laughs> Well, Gibson Les Paul traditional pro. How did you like it guys? Let me know in the comment section, please. Let me know how did you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed it. You know what? This is not the most expensive Les Paul by far what I had, but I can play on it all day and night. Can enjoy it. It's 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 a great guitar. Uh, I'd go for the bigger neck because I like that, but the pickups are great. The coil tap sounds very, very, very usable, which is rare on a Les Paul. And it has great tuning pegs. I really like the, these mini Grover locking tuners. Hey, a nice guitar for not much money. So I can highly recommend it to you guys. I can highly recommend this guitar for you. Come and go to my website rollisguitars.co.uk and check out the details. Good Les Paul. Good Les Paul. So I finished this beautiful talisker and I enjoyed this guitar a lot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please send a thumbs up. Please send me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do it. <laughs> and if you support me I'm going to shoot more and more guitar videos. So bye bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year guys. Bye bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye bye.